there's been some talk as to why Richard Hart is buying what seems like a top in the price of Ethereum. Now, Richard Hart has been deploying some money and uh, accumulating a lot of Ethereum. Now he's, I believe, over $400 million worth of Ethereum. And he started buying it over $3,000. And Richard Hart has released an explanation about what exactly is going on. And I'm going to read it for you. In a market with no dips, buying the top is buying the bottom. When numbers start to go up, buying the top is buying the bottom. Buying the top is buying the bottom. Hey, David, I missed the, the bottom. What do I do? Buying the top is buying the bottom. Buying the top is buying the bottom. When numbers start to go up, buying the top is buying the bottom. So did you buy some bottom today? <laughs> because the bottom is looking pretty juicy. Buying the top is buying the bottom. So anyone who might be thinking I missed out, am I too late? Guys, buying the top is buying the bottom. When numbers start to go up, buying the top is buying the bottom. Now we've got to look at some of some analysis here, right? If you're asking yourself, okay, let's look at uh, what's happening with Pulse Chain, Pulse X. Now Richard Hart, also deployed some capital into accumulating some Pulse X. And what we see is that Pulse X, the good thing about Pulse X is Pulse X is the main DEX on Pulse Chain. And anytime you come onto Pulse Chain and you want to, to trade there, you're most likely going to use Pulse X. And any transaction on Pulse X, there's a portion of it, a fee, a portion of the fee that is used to buy and burn some Pulse X. And right now we're sitting at over 734 billion Pulse X that has been burnt, right? That's almost 1 trillion. Now that's about... Uh, 0.5% of total supply, but if we remove the, the, the OA, it's about 3.6% of user supply. So the numbers are looking pretty good. Now, Richard Hart also dropped a tweet saying that, look, guys, Pulse X, Pulse Chain is most likely to outperform Bitcoin in this cycle. And there is some exciting things in regards to Ethereum, right? I expect Ethereum to do well, really well, obviously for a big cap coin. But Ethereum might have an ETF coming soon. Ethereum has the upgrade EIP-1559. I think, I think that's the right uh, Ethereum improvement proposal, right? Now, this proposal up allows a portion of transaction fees of Ethereum to be burnt. So, whenever Ethereum usages go higher, transaction fees go higher, that means more Ethereum is burnt. So, we're having Ethereum that is going to be burnt. And then we're having an ETF where institutions are going to come and gobble up as much Ethereum as possible. That gives you ultra scarcity of Ethereum, which can pump up the price of ETH. Now, if you have Pulse Chain outperforming Ethereum, when Ethereum is outperforming itself, that's a good place to be. Because if you look at it, right, if you look at the amount of capital that has gone into Bitcoin, and then you think that Bitcoin also has a supply shock as well, which is the, the halvening coming in April, right? So we've got a supply shock there. But despite Bitcoin having this supply shock, Bitcoin is still inflationary, right? Now, Ethereum itself is going to be deflationary. Then you add some increased demand from institutions who say, I missed Bitcoin. Buying the top is buying the bottom. <laughs> when numbers start to go up, buying the top is buying the bottom. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. This is obviously uh, some very good life lessons, not financial advice. <laughs> You don't want to get that on YouTube. What you want to do is sing, buying the top is buying the bottom. Buying the top is buying the bottom. <laughs>